If you're doing anything video related, a reliable tripod is something that you definitely need in your kit. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what may be the best budget tripod for video, the Takama Flip Zip Tripod, and everything you need to know before deciding if it's right for you. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. A good tripod is an absolute must for anyone producing video. These days, there are some great cheap tripod options available and you can get your hands on something that will do the job for almost every non-professional shoot without breaking the bank. Previously for me, my go-to all-rounder tripod, and the tripod that traveled with me everywhere, was the Slick Video Sprint 2, which was a solid tripod and reliable tripod at around the $80 price point. It was good enough for me to recommend, and it didn't do enough wrong to warrant me spending more time looking for alternatives. But now that's changed. Adorama recently reached out to me and said, we've got something better. So they sent us out a free tripod to test, and it's the Takama Flip Zip Tripod. And after using it for a while, I've got to say that I do agree with them. It's a great all-rounder, but there's a few things that anyone that's considering purchasing should know about. And that's why we put together this Takama Flip Zip tripod review to help you decide if this is the best budget tripod for your videos. And while you're watching, make sure you let us know in the comments what your favorite camera accessory or tripod is that you can't do without. So let's take a look at the tripod. It's made of aluminum or aluminum. It's got four leg sections. It includes a quick release camera mount. It's got full pan and tilt head and it's really designed for both still photography and video with smaller or lighter cameras. So this tripod easily converts into a monopod and also into a selfie stick. The actual tripod handle flips out into a phone holder. So you can actually use it as a selfie stick or as a monopod, and it is a tripod all in one. So pretty crazy. Now, if someone told me that they created a tripod that was a decent tripod that would also convert into a monopod and a selfie stick, then I'd probably be a little bit skeptical as to how well it would actually do all of those three things. But all I can say is that they've really nailed it and this is the complete package. And this is a really awesome tripod to travel with because it is literally everything that you would want all in one small package. This thing folds down to a mere 18.5 inches and will extend all the way up to 58 inches, which is just under 150 centimeters. So this not only makes it perfect for travel, but it also makes it perfect for use if you're gonna be sitting down at a desk or right up to standing height as well. It also only weighs 2.5 pounds, or around 1.1 kilograms. So again, making this a great travel tripod. Another couple of features this tripod has is a counterweight hook, so that you can add counterweights and hang them underneath your tripod. And it's also got a removable and flippable head, so that you can take the head section off the tripod and put it on underneath for any top-down videos. Now we do actually have a video talking about how to create top-down videos. If you're interested in that, this was one of the ways that we suggest it was to get a tripod that had this ability, but if you're after more ways to create top-down videos, then check out the video linked on screen now. Now, when I first opened up the tripod box, the first thing I noticed, obviously, was the size. Like, this is the entire tripod. It's pretty small. It's really well built. As I said, it's aluminum body or aluminum body. It's got the padded section here, which is the primary leg for the monopod as well. And it's also the main pole for the selfie stick as well. But overall, I was pretty impressed with the build quality. The actual head on it is probably what feels like the cheapest part. All the rest of it is really solid and really well built, but the top section is all plastic. Now, it is still built really, really well, but that's obviously the cheapest feeling part of the entire tripod. And the actual pan and tilt handle here is what opens up into the cell phone holder. So it's also got the quick release plate for easily getting your cameras on and off. And it's also got a basic spirit level as well to help you get your shots level. The clamping system or the locking mechanism on the tripod legs for setting and adjusting the heights works really, really well. Again, it's decent quality and it's definitely not gonna adjust or move once you've locked it in place. So to convert the tripod into a monopod or even a selfie stick, all you need to do is unscrew the primary leg, which is the leg with the padding on it. Then you just need to loosen the thumb screw holding the tripod head section in place and pull that totally out. And then you can screw that tripod head section onto the top of the leg. 
So that's how you set up the monopod. Now, if you wanna convert this to a selfie stick, all you need to do is to fold out the handle, mount your phone in that section, and rotate the handle around and tilt the head of the tripod so that it is set up like a selfie stick. So that's how easy it is to set up and use this as a tripod and then quickly convert it to a monopod and also to a selfie stick as well. And that's probably the biggest benefit of this tripod is that it's really three things in one. To give you the most flexibility and versatility while you're traveling around, this is amazing. So the biggest strengths that this tripod has going for it is how small and compact it is, that it is actually a three-in-one tripod, selfie stick, monopod, um, that it will go down to really low heights and it will go right up to standing height as well. So that's just amazing. The downsides of this tripod, as I said, the build quality of the actual head of the tripod, it's fine for most smaller camera use, it's even up to the DSLR that we use, the Panasonic GH4 works well enough on this. And I think we compromise with our travel tripod than the tripods that we would normally be using. So normally we would use a big Miller tripod for any professional shoots, Whereas for anything travel, we're compromising because we don't want to carry the big gear around. Like this tripod will fit perfectly into a suitcase, into a backpack, into any sort of carry bag because it is so small. And it's gonna hold the camera still and stable. You will still be able to get some professional looking pans and shots out of this tripod, but it is definitely not a fluid head that you would find on a professional tripod. And the other thing that you need to be aware of is that this isn't designed for big, heavy, professional cameras. This is designed for smaller point and shoot cameras, DSLRs, or even small video cameras as well. Anything though that is on the professional side, big heavy camera rigs, or even if you've pimped out your DSLR with some decent lenses and, and full cage and a lot of weight to it, then this tripod definitely won't be suited for those scenarios. So now looking at the price, you can pick up the Takama Flip Zip multifunction tripod for just under the $40 price point on adorama.com. And when you look at the competition and look at what I was using previously, the Slick Video Sprint 2, which sells for around the $80 price point, it makes it an absolute no-brainer. The build quality between the two, the size, the weight, and now throwing the price in the mix as well for $40 versus $80, it's an absolute no-brainer for me to switch to using the Takama tripod over the Slick Video Sprint 2. And this is actually something that I will personally be using quite a lot as well. So this is now my go-to travel tripod, but if you're looking for a really decent tripod, whether it's for your point and shoot camera, your smartphone, your video camera, or even your DSLR, something that is gonna be stable and small and light to travel with, then this would be my recommendation. I really love that it's also a monopod and that it's also a selfie stick, although I probably don't use the selfie stick much, but it's awesome to have that ability there if I do wanna use it. But just having the ability there is really, really awesome. And also I really love the price. I can't believe that you're getting all of this for around the $40 price point. And again, this isn't a sponsored video. I'm just pumped because I've been recommending an $80 tripod that does half of what this does. And now I've got a better one to recommend to you guys. Now before you go, if you're keen to get the most out of your DSLR or even your point and shoot camera, then make sure you check out the video that's linked on screen that runs through the key settings that you need to know to start using manual mode for your videos. And it's not as hard as you think. And the results are definitely worth it. I'll see you soon.